Hey, what's going on guys? CodeMonkeyGames here. In this video, we're gonna add the feature of printing the stats uh, near our chessboard. But instead of doing this down below, I would like to make this on the right of our chessboard. So let's start with actually running the web server uh, on the local machine. So by typing python3 app.py, just start this HTTP server and the output should be available now at the local host port number 5000. Okay. So still playing chess, still the same stuff here. But I just want to put this board to the left and have some stats on the right. In order to do this, I need to go to templates.html. Uh, I need to get rid of this uh, centralizing part. And let's have a look. OK, and now just a bit more uh, layout adjustment. So I want to create the div with the class equals to row. And within this div, I want to create a couple of divs with a class equals to column. And this is needed in order to place uh, the board on the left and the stats on the right. So quite pretty simple div and just grab this one, paste. And now I just can take this chessboard away and put it here. And this would be already kind of on the left. Okay, and here let's have some stats to make sure that they would get displayed actually. So let's have a look. Okay, but it's a little bit too on the right. So in order to avoid this sort of a behavior, let's give this uh, call six or maybe call eight and here call six. This allows to, so, uh, okay, now it should be, hold on a sec, it should be 12. Uh, so this would be four. Okay, so I'm not sure how exactly the output would look like. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit not that great. So let's actually have this five. Yeah, and this one to seven. So this should work. Okay, now this is much better. So just shift it to the left slightly a little bit. Okay, and now in order to make uh, use of this sort of information, which has already been tracked uh, within our JavaScript code that we've grabbed in the previous video, we just need to uh, create a proper elements uh, like this div, uh, divs with the ID FEN, PGN, and status, and I also uh, provide these labels as well. So let's actually do this, and I just want to create a uh, label and label uh, how is this called status okay let's call it status and also fen and pgn okay fen and pgn so let's have a look what we got Okay, for some reason, well, uh, if I just now uh, add those divs, this would, uh, they would put, the, they, they would go to where they should be. So no worries at the moment. The only thing I would like to add is probably I would like to enclose them within the strong tag just to make uh, a bold sort of uh, font. So like this and here and here like this and here I just want to create a div with the ID equals to status so we have this uh, we're referencing these variables by jQuery selector so this hash status means uh, find JavaScript element by ID so by ID so ID should be status FEN and PGN respectively so here in JavaScript we just hook our DOM elements uh, in order to manipulate their values. Uh, uh, yeah, just manipulate their values. So this would be the ID, div ID status, and don't forget to close the div tag. Copy. This would be ID FEN. And this one would be ID PGN. But if we just try to run this straight ahead, it won't be working as expected because 
uh, see like some malformed disaster is happening. So now I will try to explain why this is actually happening. So the reason behind this, and again, like it took me uh, quite a bit of time to figure that out. So the reason behind that is because we're actually loading the FEN uh, to our kind of game stream, if we can call it like, like that. So instead we need to loop, uh, actually we need to add uh, a move instead of a BGN. I didn't know this in the previous video, but uh, I just want to demonstrate how this is working. If we're not touching the engine, so if we're not touching the engine, the moves are added normally, which is quite pretty nice, so not a big deal. And now in order to actually make it uh, working with our UCI moves, uh, we need to reference the documentation and here in particular uh, so by default, ChessJS uh, assumes the moves to be done in so-called SESAN notation. Sorry, guys. But uh, he has this sloppy true function. Sloppy is the name of chess engine, which allows to uh, parse various forms of uh, algebraic notation. So I can simply just take this sort of a code here and paste it right over in here. And instead of this E2, E4, uh, I would be using data, uh, data dot move. But we didn't yet actually create that move. So we need to uh, pass that move here within, uh, within our uh, FEN, uh, so, uh, along with, with our FEN. So we can call it just like a move, or we just call it best move which so probably it would be a good idea to display the best move as well and i just pass this result of move from so this is the search result here okay save but it's not getting saved due to the disaster regarding threats most likely so i just want to reload this stuff and if i did everything correctly it should now be okay it doesn't do anything why why it doesn't do anything? I'm not sure. Post data move. Oh, it's because we need to call this a best move. Sorry, best move. Just change the name a little, a little bit. So let's try again. Okay, still something wrong is going on here. So um, let's see. Whoa, server internal error. Move is not JSON serializable. Oh, okay, so, uh, sorry guys, we need to convert this to string uh, because it just returns the move object, which is not the case. So let's restart the stuff again. And now I really hope, yeah, I see like uh, this layout is really weird at the moment when we have this stuff opened. Yeah, I really need to work uh, on the responsive design here, but let's drop the developer tools at the moment. So, okay, still something wrong. It's a bit strange. Excuse me. Chess is not defined. Uh, oh, it's not chess. It should be. Yeah, sorry guys. Just blank copy pasting is not good. Uh, I should use game because we have this game object uh, created at the very game instance, the uh, object that is the instance of the chess class. So we need to use that actually. And well, I hope. Okay, perfect. So you see, like now it's it's kind of working. Uh, so. I'm, taking knight takes d6 so well the notation is not that great basically well maybe there is some way uh, of, on how to change this i'm not sure but well on the other hand well probably this is standard so anyway uh it just prints the move so now it would be like e2 bishop e2 and now this is like yeah bishop e2 i'm just hold on a sec i'm just wondering so I'm playing e4. 
Oh, so the problem is, you see, like, uh, it doesn't update on, mm, it doesn't update sta st status on the opponent's move. So in order to resolve this as well, we actually need to call this update status. Uh, here. So let's try again. Okay, move. Okay, d4, d5. Okay, e takes d4, c6, good takes night takes so now now it seems to be working quite pretty nicely okay so now the pgn seems to be valid and we just play chess and this is really great okay so i hope this makes sense to you guys uh the probably the very last thing i would like to make uh at the end of this tutorial is actually well uh first uh, I'm, I'm sorry but let me just I just want to quickly check one little thing here. So if I just get rid of this specifiers, will it still be? So it's weird. It's a bit weird in terms of, yeah, but the good, good news is that actually on the smartphone, the layout would be kind of better here. So I'm really wondering what can I do actually? Well, what, what I can do, uh, what I can actually do, I can try to specify the margins equals to two. So to minimize this, mm, yeah, just to minimize this uh, margins. And I'm not sure why he didn't specify uh, card just hold on a sec I'm not sure how to make it nope hmm I'm a, uh, I'm a bit confused for doesn't it doesn't go to the very end of the screen to be honest I'm not sure I don't remember by heart how to make this. Okay, guys, just maybe hold on a sec. I'll figure it out in a moment. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what I've done so far, uh, I added the global margin to from like margin margin from all the sides for the container. Uh, still not exactly what I wanted, but but anyway, and also also I've centralized this. And uh, the most uh, the most good thing here is that if we just uh like imitating the smartphone it goes like this so the status and all, all everything that was on the right goes down below here which is uh, generally well i hope this is kind of good well uh not the best ever layout so far not not the best one ever but this uh, this is at least something and also uh i've removed the labels uh and, and left just the strong uh, tax and I'm just wondering maybe I should also give a slight uh, because uh, give a slight margin on the top of these elements because status sticks to the board in this position so ju just one li one last uh, uh, one last try here if it doesn't work uh, let's try two. Hold on a sec, I'm a bit confused. Oh, it's, I shouldn't have done this. Hold on. Yeah, for some reason I don't know why this doesn't work. Uh, well, what I what else? Well, I can actually try to hold on. I can enclose this to a div. But maybe it's not the best option either.
Okay, let's let's just drop it. I just don't really want to waste your time, guys. Well, one day I'll find some better layout and uh, apply that. So what we have at the moment, so it's the FEN is long enough, it seems, to not. Oh, actually, oh my God, it actually does wrap to down below here, which I don't really like. Hmm. What if we just, well, this is a weird way of doing things, but maybe we just should cart. Uh, maybe I should drop it like this I don't really like this this space so but what do I hold on a sec if I try to centralize the board relatively to its parent div well maybe this would be more or less just something fine here yeah, but in this case, okay, I just don't, <laughs> I don't like how it looks like, uh, okay, <laughs> oh my god, guys, I'm sorry, just, yeah, let me pause the video and try to figure out how to make it a bit better, okay, finally, so I made this zip uh, uh, relatively smaller, while this one still remains kind of full, full blown width, and now, FEN is printed more or less just fine and well I could probably even sorry guys just so sorry for this uh, okay so now this would probably be the best ever then okay so and if it just Okay, just perfect, just perfect. So this is it. I, I just can make uh, a little margin within the chessboard. So it would be, yeah, like a uh, slightly uh, bigger indent here. So I think I think this is just okay. We, 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 would, we would be having the bad on buttons here, but anyway, this moment this seems to be more or less just fine. So PGN is printed. Okay. Mm, I probably I want a slightly uh, bigger indentation between this, but I'm not really sure if uh, for some reason it didn't work for me. Uh, no, not here. Sorry. Or no, it's, it, it was actually, it was okay. Hold on. I just can't understand why this... Uh, okay. Uh, web design is not my strongest part, as you might uh, see this already. I'm just trying to figure this out on the fly how to be done okay so let's wrap them within the divs let's just wrap them within the divs and this should work okay no not this one not this one okay now now this is good so yeah, now I really like the layout. Okay, guys, so this is a regarding the coding part, and the only thing I would I would like to add here is just want to add some commentary. So here we have the game stats. Uh, okay, and here, mm, so we don't need these commentaries. 
so here like GUI let's call them GUI board uh, and game state variables uh, okay so here uh, let's say uh, on pick and piece up uh, I say I'm picking up a piece and here on dropping a piece oh my god uh, drop in is this should be double P well Google doesn't fix me so this should be should be fine okay so on drop in piece mm, okay so these commentaries are nice so here again we want update game status update game status mm. okay so this commentary is just fine here we just update game status well so this is pretty self-explanatory uh, commentary to provide here uh, we want to update uh, DOM elements which means like uh, this UI elements like uh, the div with uh, status uh, FEN and PGN so these guys uh, these guys are uh, I, uh, they are called DOM elements uh, I'm not sure about the abbreviation of DOM uh, some object uh, I don't, don't remember sorry don't remember that abbreviation and here we have chessboard configuration okay here want to create a chessboard widget instance and update game status okay yeah, now it looks like it is. It's my it's my code. <laughs> okay, now it looks like my it's my code. Okay, guys. So now I think this is really it. So let's update the stuff to make sure that I didn't break anything. Actually, okay. This is quite pretty nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So. I will probably drop exactly here. So I'm not sure what what kind of features exactly we would be adding in the next uh, video. Well, probably some buttons like starting a new game and well things like that basically. Okay, guys. Yeah, so this is it from my side. I hope you learned something interest interesting out of this tutorial. I really hope to see you in the next parts uh, within this series. So until that time, and take care.